Hey everyone. So we have a, a pretty good idea about how Daniel handled the whole lion's den thing. Um, first, of course, when, when he was threatened with it, um, Daniel just kept doing what was right in his eyes and he did what was right in God's eyes. And it turned out he was doing what was right in the king's eyes as well. And he wasn't worried about the whole lion den thing. He trusted God. And, and then when he gets thrown into the lion's den, he trusted God then too. Uh, whatever the outcome that would have happened when he was in there, he trusted God. And I began to wonder, I wonder what the guy did while he was down there in, in the lion's den. Uh, most, most pictures that we, we saw when we were kids in Sunday school classes have, have Daniel on his knees, right? And, and he's praying to God like the entire time. And it's certainly likely that that's what he did, you know, part of the time. But I wonder how far his trust really went with this whole thing while he was, while he was down there. Uh, did he go to some sleep at, at some point while he was down there? It, it was, after all, nighttime. Uh, did, he, did he constantly watch the lions? Or did he realize at some point that God just wasn't going to let th these animals harm him? So he didn't have to keep sweating or panicking or, or even paying attention to them. <laughs> I mean, if you were the, the one in the den of lions, right, and your level of trust was, was so extremely high that you knew God was not going to let even an ounce of harm come to you, how would you have behaved down in there with those lions? <laughs> would... Uh, would you do something like, uh, go pet one? Did, did Daniel get on one of them and, and try to take it for a ride? Because, hey, why not? When are you going to get a chance to do that again, right? Uh, did, he, did he maybe stick his hand over by one of their mouths and, and rub their teeth just to, just to see what it would, what it would be like? Uh, now, I don't know if Daniel is quite as warped as some of us, because some of you are like, yeah, I think I might have tried that, right? And he probably wasn't as warped as some of us are, but it wouldn't surprise me with the level of trust that Daniel had in his God, that maybe he played with the lions for a little bit. But Darius, on the other hand, he didn't have the kind of faith and trust that Daniel had. At first, Darius's trust was obviously put in himself, or he never would have made an edict in the first place that people had to pray to him only. And, and when Daniel ended up getting framed for this whole thing and he was thrown into the lion's den, Darius had no power to do anything about it. And instead of having faith, Darius was flustered. A flustered so much that nothing at all could take his mind off of what was happening. Been there? Uh, he ignored all entertainment that night, all fun that he normally would have had, all luxuries that he normally would have partaken in on a, on a normal evening. Nothing was fun anymore for Darius. He was flustered so much that he was up all night long. He couldn't sleep. How often do we lack faith and get flustered and have no fun and lose sleep because of it? We all get what Darius was going through. It is likely that Daniel had more fun that night and got more sleep that night than Darius did, even though Daniel was sleeping right next to a bunch of starving lions. Here's what it comes down to. You will either be flustered or have faith. A faith kicks flustered right out of your, your, your headspace. It helps occupy your mind and send uh, flustered running far away. But the converse of that, right, is also very true. Flustered kicks faith out. And they are both bidding to occupy 
my mind and your mind. And by the way, that faith has got to be in God and God alone. Or you will just end up, well, flustered. One final thing we see from this event in history as we compare uh, Daniel and Darius is our level of trust in God shows not only in our hearts by decreasing frustration, but it also shows in our actions. Daniel chapter 6 and 24 says this, At the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and kids. And before they reached the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and they crushed all of their bones. But Daniel did not order that. In fact, I bet Daniel was opposed to it. Darius ordered it. He was so flustered that he acted out of rage. Had he acted out of faith, he would have doled out a punishment, sure, but it wouldn't have looked like that. Oftentimes, when we overreact or we take things to an inappropriate level, it's because we lack faith in God. And we, then we start to feel like we've got to do it all on our own. And that's when flustered rears its ugly head. Thankfully, we don't have the power to throw people in lion's dens, or we might end up in the voting booth every other day, right? <laughs> and thankfully, others don't have the power to throw us in lion's den, or we would never be able to pay the church's mortgage. Friends, let me close it this way. Let's learn to live in faith like Daniel instead of frustration like Darius. And it'll be better for everyone's hearts, minds, and activities. We'll see you tomorrow.